Patellofemoral pain syndrome, or in other words, anterior knee pain, is one of the most seen knee pathologies encountered by orthopedic and sports physical therapists. It's even said that around 25% of the people will experience patellofemoral symptoms at some point in their life. But what is a patellofemoral pain syndrome? Hi, and welcome to yourphysio.online. I'm Arne Elsof, and today I'm going to talk about patellofemoral pain syndrome. What is patellofemoral pain? If we translate the diagnosed patellofemoral pain, it means pain caused by a problem between the patella, so the kneecap, and the femur, the thigh bone. And in most of the time, it means the kneecap isn't gliding smoothly over the thigh bone. If you take a look at the anatomy of the thigh bone, there's a slight gutter where the kneecap can slide over. If the kneecap doesn't slide or it's a little bit twisted or located to the inner or outer side of that gutter, the cartilage of the kneecap can get a little bit irritated and that can cause the patellofemoral pain. So where do you feel the pain? If we take a look at the location of the pain, the patellofemoral pain or anterior knee pain is felt in the front side of the knee and behind or at the sides of the kneecap. The pain is most of the time really diffuse or hard to localize and the pain is triggered through activities like walking a stair, cycling up a hill, or getting up out of a squat position. So activities that compress the kneecap to the knee joint will probably evoke the pain. In the introduction, I mentioned that around 25% of the people will experience patellofemoral pain at some point in their life. So you would think with this high percentage of people experiencing patellofemoral pain, it will be easy to assess and help those people with knee pain. But managing these complaints is harder than you think because there is still no optimal management of the patellofemoral pain. And how is that possible, you ask? Well, the problem is that there are just a lot of factors associated with patellofemoral pain syndrome. Factors like different tissues in the knee that can cause the pain, but also the fact that people with patellofemoral pain syndrome have more nerve fibers in their knee joint are factors that are associated with patellofemoral pain syndrome. But these factors aren't treatable for us, so we shouldn't be focusing on these factors. What we should be focusing on are the factors we can treat and have control over. Studies found that a lack of hamstring length, but also hip strength and core control could be factors that can cause patellofemoral pain syndrome. But physical therapists also tend to believe flat feet or knees turning inwards while walking are associated with patellofemoral pain syndrome. So it is important to look at these factors during the physical assessment. As you heard, patellofemoral pain syndrome can be caused by a huge amount of factors. And that's why it's so hard to treat. Okay, now we know that patellofemoral pain is dependent on a lot of factors. And that it is felt while walking down the stairs, squatting or riding a bike up the hill. And now we need to know how to get rid of the knee pain. But before we know how to get rid of the knee pain, we need to know what the direct cause of the pain is. In most of the cases, the patellofemoral pain syndrome is caused by a biomechanical cause, resulting in an overuse of the cartilage of the knee. So, by example, your knee is moving inwards while walking, or a lack of strength in your hip muscles. But there are more causes for your patellofemoral pain syndrome. The pain can be caused by a direct trauma of the kneecap, so by example, a fall on your knee. Uh, patellar instability or a soft tissue problem in the knee. And during the assessment, your physical therapist is trying to figure out what the direct cause of your patellofemoral pain syndrome is. When the cause of your pain is found, you can start your personalized rehab. Because a patellofemoral pain syndrome caused by a fall in your knee needs a different approach than an overused knee joint. So now you know what the possible factors for patellofemoral pain syndrome are and why it is a hard but treatable injury. In the next video, we'll discuss the treatment of the overused patellofemoral pain. All right, first of all, thanks for watching and make sure to send this video to friends and family who are having knee pain. And if you need a personal consultation or advice, you can find us at yourphysio.online. This was Arjan and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.